Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah. Up to five now. And is that a cloak attack? Slaymore, is that a cloak tool? I don't think so, right? Yeah, charge is five now. Burger. Ooh, we can go to a Thanager's office, Candace, or the cloak store. Let's go to the cloak store. I don't know if I can buy one. That particular monster drops like a worm or something out when it dies, and it looks all sad and pathetic and cries. Oh my gosh. Look at the little, look at the sad little worm. That I then have to kill. Up on the worm. Let's face it, a worm's life is sad. Yeah. Especially the worms in my garage. When it rains, worms will come in under the door, under the garage. And then Fizzgig will find them and just play with them, and it's sad. Yeah. I'm still on the Slaymore run. I am. This is this weapon has been great. It's about to end right here in this fiery mess, but I'm trying our best here. Oh, that hurt. Oh, okay. We probably shouldn't linger down here as much as I just did. I'm so slow. Oh, come on. Yeah. Do -do -boo -boo -boo. All right, what is this? Kunai summons a circle of fast lightning Kunai. So if we take this, I gotta get rid of the Slaymo or the bow. Let's get let's put it in storage, can we? Kunai. I'll just leave it there. I don't think you can have more than one thing in storage, right? Bing bong. Vault or hazardous floor? Didn't take too long to get what done, Roger. The floor is lava. The floor is lava. Yeah. 
Diablo downloaded and set up. Oh, nice. Yeah. No, they made it pretty painless. I'm pretty happy with how they did it. Yeah. Is there anything new news in the last three weeks? I didn't get attended at Bogathon as my sister is in town. Um. Well, the Bogathon, we, we painted minis for the first time. I don't think you know that. Uh, I'm trying to think, do we have any other news, gang? We have a sponsored stream coming up on like the 30th for Ravenbound, which is an open world roguelike coming, uh, coming out, which I really enjoyed playing in an early access. So I'm happy to have a sponsored stream. That will be uh we doing and it looks like next week we're gonna be um helping celebrate the launch of a game for devolver called terra nil and they're doing a promotion where they're going to uh if we can spam enough emotes they're gonna plant some trees in honor of the ottoman empire so that'd be cool yeah I thought you painted minis before. No, I meant on stream. On stream, yeah. You're so excited for Terra Nil, already have it pre-uttered? Yeah. I'm not sure it's 100% my type of thing, but I like the promotion where we spam some tree emotes in our chat and they'll plant trees in Portugal for us. <laughs> and, uh... It'll be in honor of the Ottoman Empire, so that's pretty fun. Us spam emotes might be hard. I know, right? Us, us might be hard. Ow, you bastard. But other than that, I don't know. Any other news, King? I remember. Tornadmin unleashes a whirlwind of sharp edge paper. Should we try this instead of something else? I like the bow though. Oh, is nice. The Slaymore is nice. Is VR stream news? Yeah, I don't know. Have you been around for any of the VR streams, Rooster? Yeah. I've been playing a lot of PSVR 2, uh, too, which has been a lot of fun. Um, I want to try this, but... The Slaymore has been so good to me. I'm nervous. That's pretty good. Hi. Hello. Look what I can do. You can make a tornado. It's a yeah. It's a book nado. This one looks golden. So should I put that here? I'll put it there. I don't know how the storage thing works. Will the storage be there for other runs? Oh shit. Can I not get up? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I still don't know how to see a secret door. Hazardous floor or a vault. Let's see how the, I don't know what the vault does. I don't know what any of these things do. Part of the problem with the way they structure this is the way my brain works. 
like i just chose vault and that's the reward for getting to the end of this level but by the time i get to this end of the level most of the time i don't remember what i chose so i don't learn what that choice does yeah why well, go down there hmm. what if the secret door down here but i don't have any heals you like this game but i think the rogue aspect would not work for me without the easy mode i wonder how these easy mode actually works well the the only thing that it seemed to do unless there's like different levels of easy mode that did not reveal themselves to us was monsters do five percent less damage which doesn't seem a lot you do get three heals to start whereas i only get one and there was something else about 50 percent more hit point recovered when you hit a break room i think it was but it you know that's i don't know if there's different levels of easiness beyond that but that's the only thing i saw that they add see i wonder if they have like like see, that's one of the great things about hades hades has the god mode where it's they literally say, all right, turn on God mode. Every time you die, it's going to get a little bit easier. And what they do is, what is it? You take 1% less damage every time you die up to a maximum of 50% less damage. I think it happens like that. There are difficult settings in this one. There is a... I'll show you when I die. There is a... There's like a book. And you can set your next run to a difficulty... Uh, like to make it harder or easier. And it did... Uh, I'm playing on normal right now. And there was a, low, a, a level that was below that. I like how the worms don't count. Trouble cross. Shoot two devastating rays across one another right in front of you. Trouble cross. Let's, let's see what it's like. Trouble cross. That's pretty cool. I was wondering if easy sticks with you or you have to have a hard run before you get the easy each time. You can set it each time. Yeah, each time you go in, like you're cho like after you die, you're choosing everything for your next run. Like what, you know, if you want to buy something to change your starting weapon, like you, there's certain choices you make at the start of each run. One of them is how difficult the run will be. I still want the bow. I think the book, uh, I, don't, I know Cuddly Shark's not here, but when we picked book last time, I think that's mana. I think that was extra mana we got. That was the vault, so we got money or ingots. So that's what vault does. Vault gives you ingots. Bing bong. Control room. Uh oh. Is this a boss? It's the Kool-Aid man. 
Oh yeah! At least we get to parlay. Master, welcome home. You came just at the right time. Your wishes are my commands. You'll be well armed for combat. I don't report to the sorrows, and I only take orders from you, Master. Finally, some loyalty. All right, what happens here? Sickles? Oh, we can upgrade. Oh, wow. Arrows seek out their targets? Spend Prisium or print spend Solary. I... Oh, wow. This reduces dash cooldown by 0.1 seconds. All right, well... well. This also at max hit points plus 25. Let's do the bow. Okay. The next upgrade will shoot two arrows. Wow. Can I still do this one? Yes, I can do both. Nice. <laughs> I love that sound effect. That's great. Oh, I should have looked at this first. I suck. I suck. Is this going to cost the same? Wait, what? Party sickles? Just the sickles have the transform. I don't know how to do this screen. That's what I call good equipment. Doot, doot, doot. Now, will these stick between runs? N I don't think so. No. Um... Spend Prismium. I don't have Prismium. You have no Prismium to spend. Yeah, I don't know how this screen works. Maybe I just need Prismium. Oh, wow. It's so cool to see you again, boss. What a nice surprise. Do you remember the last time we met? I was really little and you were, um, uh, well... Anyway, work. So, uh, the sorrows have been getting bolder, but I've been working on some pretty cool stuff just for you. Show me. Oh, that's what you've been showing me. Okay, we're working on it, but I can't do anything about it. Invent a prismium. Invest a prismium to transform the scythe. All right, I have no prismiums yet. All right, let's go. Now we get to go fight Waldo. Waldo. Hey, MZ. Happy Thursday. It would be cool if weapon upgrades were permanent. Yeah, but that that acts more like um like a game like uh, like a Metroidvania or an RPG where the upgrades are just kept. Whereas a roguelite is all about the runs. You're gonna have randomized builds, random weapons, random stuff. Um, there are some things that you can upgrade when you die. Like, for example, I now start each run with one heal, whereas the first time I didn't. You know, some some things do get upgraded, but a lot of the stuff is run specific. All right, here we go. Oh my God, Waldo. 11 million deaths a year. That's what we call a career. Oh, that was Waldo saying that. Palapa Papa Papa. You're the one who brought it up. Great. Let's have some time, Waldo. Stop what you're doing. Both the singing and the overproduction. Let's wait and see, Mr. President. My very last modifications. This is Bob's big boy. 
Oh my god. Okay, don't hit me though. Oh yeah. are great. Uh, I don't know what you're doing, but you gotta stop right now. No! Whoa! Holy moly! Shit! No, don't kill me! Oh, he was so close to death! Damn, rested paperwork. We killed 193 uh, enemies that run. That was a long run. All right, that was good. All right, let's see what we unlock. That was a lot. That's pretty good. Unlocks an elevator that takes you straight to Brad's security station. Okay, you can go right to the first boss now. You hit the elevator. The bosses so far have been very creative. I they have been. Yeah. Dark Claws. Okay, so, look, so now, right now, I'm back to just the normal side, right? Attacks 10. That's it. Um, I come here, look at my old runs. I can talk to people. We'll talk to people in a second. Uh, this is the upgrade tree, right? So the more experience points I gain on the run, I'll uh, these are all permanent unlocks to make things easier, right? Relaxation rooms, I can now have bleed curses, I start the game with a heal, I can go right to the first boss. Um, this is just a codex of things I've unlocked for future runs, right? Or I've seen before. Okay, now this I can spend the ingots, the 474 ingots. If I don't want to wait for these things to unlock, right? If I want Dark Talons, which is a weapon, to be in my next run, or to be able to be found in runs, I can spend 50 ingots and unlock it. Or I can wait until I kill 250 weapons with a hammer and then it'll be 95% off. So if I don't want to wait, I just want that to start appearing, I could just unlock it right now. The same thing with a lot of these here. Dirty dagger, like, like this one. Dark claws down here. I killed 100 enemies with a cloak, so now it only costs 13 instead of 250. So let's do it. Let's grab that. Uh, what else is pretty cheap? Some of these are really expensive. Nothing's, nothing else is really cheap. Um, so Dark Claws is now available. This is the, where you can choose things to be less difficult, right? Imminent Breakdown is normal. I can't make it harder yet because I probably haven't beaten a run. But if I want to go easier, self-fulfillment, start the run with three heals. I get 50% max hit points back in the break room after defeating a Sorrow. Damage reduced by minions by 5%. And, uh... Every time... I guess every time you die, the anima's heal... Gets better? Looks like that. What about the three upgrade trees? That's all... That's all gone. That's reset. Yeah. All your bone. That's part of your build. So each time you play and you start making those choices, you're making those choices for that run only. Like, hey, do I want to try a magic run this time? Do I want to focus on, you know, the bow? Whatever it happens to be. This seems to be mostly cosmetic stuff. 
this is where you can try out different weapons and things. So it's like, all right, if I if I get a chance to try Dragonor during a run, should I take it? It would be look like this. That's a really slow cooldown. Then they take it away from you when you go through the green. All right, let's talk to the. Oh, Pumpkin is dressed as a as a ghost. That made you jump, didn't it? Terrifying. Nice costume, young Quinn. Oh no, you recognize me. I must find another victim to terrorize. Yep, seems inevitable to me. I'm gonna pop over to the break room. I heard our colleagues have put together a little Halloween surprise. Awesome, it's Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday. Have fun, boss. I would never have guessed. I would never have guessed. All right, before I uh, start the next run. Oh no. Before I start the next run, let's, let me take a quick break. <laughs> 